What's up, solid stuff with this one sword? I'm prepping for my D in my day. I'm really prepping for my weekend because I'm doing a turbo weekend. Y'all think I grind. You ain't seen grinding yet. I'm putting my pedal to the metal this weekend. Playing catch up. You know, cleaning up my roster, making sure my clients are taken care of. Shout out to uh, Mr. Einer for leaving a phenomenal review. You're a beast, bro. Let me tell you something. This guy gave me a great, great review. Like, he like hit all the hot websites, everything I was a part of, and just moved me right up to the top of the ranks. Props for that. But one thing I want to tell you about that dude, he is a, uh, has multiple businesses. The fact he took the time to do that for me is just speaks volumes. It's just making my grind even more. It was rewarding. It wasn't even about getting paid. It was about the respect that he gave me. The other thing is this dude gets up at 4 o'clock every morning and starts grinding on his business. The dude is a beast. So my hat's off to you, bro. See you at the top. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is all that shit I say I can't get done. That's why my ass is up. I got up at 4.36 a.m. Even though I just laid down at like 12.36 a.m. But the reality is if you want to get out here and get it, you can't complain about not being able to get it done. Shut out the bull and go get it done. That's what I'm doing. So this is an early morning uh, video I'm doing right now. I'm in here doing appointment quests. I don't know how this is going to work out because I got work is on one piece. Appointment quests keep popping up, so I got to make sure I cover both bases. Um, I really don't want to have two schedulers, but at this day and age, you got to be accessible. So now I'm going to have to balance both and make sure that uh, nothing crosses nothing. At the end of the day, if you want to be accessible online and want to be able to get the customers, you just got to do what you got to do. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. Also placing orders. Friday is a big day because I got a lot of weekend jobs. I got to make sure I got all my product because I have limited access to parts houses on the weekend. Um, I'm booking out my week and I'm really, it's imperative. If you're in this business, get an online presence. And when you get an online presence, make sure you make it user friendly. That's where I'm at right now. I'm grinding through my website. I'm grinding through my appointment schedules. I'm making sure everything lines up, that everything matches, that people don't go to one site, see one thing, go somewhere else and see something else. I mean, it, I can pay somebody to do this, but the reality is I paid some people to do some things and it wasn't up to par. And I glanced at it. I really didn't go through it thoroughly. And luckily, you know, someone in my life came to me and said, yo, check this out. So I appreciate you for that. I'm just shouted out. Doreen, I appreciate it. You know, and uh, at the end of the day, you got to be professional. You can't attract a certain caliber of customer and your shit be raggedy. Let's just keep it 100. Um, so that's what I'm doing. At the same time, I got a big job down in Coral Gables. So I got about 40 minutes, damn, to get this done because I want to stop by Home Depot on my way to Coral Gables and grab some really strong penetrating oil. I'm dealing with a um, high-end uh, oven, double oven, dual range combination. I'm going to be dealing with uh, igniters, which, you know, should be pretty easy. But the concern I have is cleaning the ports and everything and replacing some of the electrodes. Um, and a lot of times, you know, when you're dealing with those brass nuts, they're seized in place. I'm not trying to damage nothing because I'm not trying to pay for nothing. But the goal is to get that thing down in two hours, laser focus, then pop over, have some other customers down in uh, Kendall uh, and um, Keep It Skane and what's that other spot? What is it? Palmetto Bay or something. Anyway, I got to knock all that out. Then I got to bounce back up to Fort Lauderdale because I got to deal with the landlord on the situation. Um, I also got to um, do a dishwasher. Every damn dishwashers, man. I understand why people don't do that. But at the end of the day, you, you know, do what you got to do. I'm also working on three additional websites. 
to fine tune and to really focus on some high end profit, uh, career profit items. So and then on top of that, I'm a flipping appliances. I don't know how that happened, but when you take 60 bucks and you make 600, what I mean, what you gonna do? So I've decided I'm gonna have to put my appliance business down to four days, my flipping business to one day, my uh, and then I got another side of my business which is the handyman side. Like I said, at the end of the day, you gotta work it out. I can't get upset. I just I'm ain't all about doing everything well. If I touch it, you see my reviews, those who follow me, um, and then the, the groups that I share that stuff with. I'm simply sharing it for motivation. I'm not sharing it to brag. I ain't got time for bragging because bragging gets your ass embarrassed. I don't brag about nothing. I'm what they call confident. So get used to a confident black woman with an attitude because I really don't give a damn what you think. This channel is for those that question the ability to get out here. Put your toe in the water, bro, and roll on. Because you better get out here because having a job and working on those corporate plantations is not the way to go. Use your job to finance your future. That's all I can tell you. Um, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm really, you know, JT and them, they be on me to go to 10 minutes. But I really don't want to fill this video with nothing. So I got to think about that. Also, I'm making my healthy prep meal. Bear with me one second. I'll be right back, guys. got to take this uh, finished up my broccoli and my chicken. Not to mention I'm getting my sexy back because I'm eating healthy and staying on it. The biggest thing is to get this rest. what time it is. You are in control of your damn destiny. It was something I wanted to talk about. And I don't know what the hell it was. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up my audible list and uh, give you guys a list of the books that I listen to and the stuff that inspires me. Because I really want everybody to be inspired, man. I really want you guys to get out here. I want you to realize, you know, I'm laughing at my Facebook group because <laughs> y'all some clowns, man. Y'all some clowns. And yes, I did say pinky in the brain in the early video. That's a shout out to my nieces and nephews that keep me up on the latest cartoons and stuff. Man, I'm telling y'all know what y'all letting these kids watch, but those cartoons do not seem like they for kids. They have an adult conversation and they dealing between that dog on SpongeBob, that pinky in the brain. Boy, it's out of control. I'm sitting there looking like, really? These are, you know, I got this saying all my friends crack on me because I listen to my friends and they are all well established. Shoot, my friends are where the hell I want to be. I'm trying to catch up. They be looking like you're inspiration. I be like, no, no, no. I'm trying to get where y'all at. But anyway, I'm laughing because they always talking BS, right? And when they talking, they complaining. That's for, that's another shout out to my friend D because she made it very clear. If you gonna yawn, just yawn. Just stop talking. That's grinding. But hey, it's 100. Somebody gotta keep you in check. So. Um, they be complaining about that stuff and I be like, look, you sitting here in America having first world problems. You ain't got no damn problems. In fact, appreciate where you're at and grind on. But it's so funny to me. But uh, at the end of the day, let me pull up this list real quick, people. And uh, let me go into my library. I probably got books in here I damn forgot about. Let's see. And I wanna, what I wanna do is look at the books I'm listening to, like for instance. Okay, cool. People ask me about taxes all the time. So it's a book I'm listening to called Taxes for Small Business 2020, the beginner-friendly practical guide to understanding taxes for your startup, sole proprietorship, and LLC, even if you've never submitted a tax return before. 
It's under Brandon's, uh, it's by Brandon Business Guys, and it's really good. Make sure you get, it's about two hours long, so I really need you guys to get this book. It's called Taxes for Small Business 2020, and it's by Brandon Business Guys. You need to be on top of this, man. It's, the description is introducing the easy practical guide to understanding small business taxes and strategy to legally minimize your taxes. The reason is all y'all walking around here with your damn head in the sand talking about you running a business. Then you looking for somebody to do your taxes. You just gonna hand your shit over and don't know what's going on. Those days are over bro. Because these people that's pretending they're experts, they don't know what the hell they're doing and they're collecting a check. I'm just going to tell you like it is. So learn about your taxes. Uh, the other book I got is LLC Practical Guide, the easy beginner's guide to understanding everything you need to know about liability companies and taxes. I'm going to turn this around. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this stuff, but I really want y'all to get y'all life together. Y'all always worried about what the heck I'm doing. I'm going to show you. See right here? I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm trying to look at the camera. Because as I said, I'm not a... What the hell? See? This is what I'm talking about. I am definitely not. And see right here? The courage to be profitable. Get and stay profitable in less than 30 minutes a month. LLC Practical Guide. Easy Beginner's Guide to Understanding... Uh, LLCs. Let's see if I can get this thing to move. Let you know how much I'm doing here. That first one, taxes for small business. I hope you guys are getting this. LLC practical guy. And then at the top, there's another book I'm listening to called Mequilibrium. 14 Days to Cooler, Calmer, and Happier Life. That is very good. Make sure you guys get that. That's about five hours. Um, Let's see what else I got here. Government contracting. See, y'all better get with Miss Ward. Everything I'm on, believe me, I'm planting these seeds so that when I'm ready to make those moves, I know what's going on and I'm not lost in the sauce. Government contracting, how to bid properly. Because see this? This is a reflection of not only who I am, but where I'm going. So people ask me where my brain comes from. This is where. The seven power contractor run your contracting business. Y'all better get it together. I'm trying to tell you. Look at the stuff that's in my library, people. This is how my brain works. This was one Mike Sneed recommended this great book, Home Service Millionaire. Y'all better get with the program. Atomic Habits, great book. Five Love Languages for Men. All right, brothers, tighten up. This is a great book. So all y'all that don't understand why women act the way they do, this is a great book because it talks about the love languages. And for y'all sisters, y'all need to get on this too because y'all get in these damn relationships and people love differently, you know? So, you know, I ain't going to get into that right here. ABCs are getting out of debt. The compound, this is what's in my life, you know? Can't hurt me. That's my boy David Goggins. <laughs> Master your mind, defy the odds, all good stuff. Raising private capital. Y'all, that's a shout out right there to, um, that has, uh, I think these guys are on bigger pockets. Also, uh, I know Erica Williams, Shanta Williams turned me on to that. But y'all got to realize I have so many books. I probably got more than like 150 in this library. Um, Profit First, Book Yourself Solid. The 5 a.m. club. Y'all need to get and look at a sequel. Yes, I have sequel in here. Why do I have sequel? Because I'm a numbers person and I always got a backup plan. I get tired of dealing with appliances. I can always go on that side and deal with database management. Finance your own business. Get on finance and fast track. See, this is the stuff I read. This is the stuff I listen to. Get on your game. 22 immutable laws of marketing. You know, everything I do, I'm on top of it. And I'm on top of this show for a reason, y'all. This is a peep into my life and my world. So, let me just tell y'all, that's enough game for y'all ass today. If you didn't get something out of that, I'm going to 
I'm going to just tell you what your mama didn't tell you. Your ass is slow. Because I'm giving this out, and I'm giving this game out for free. Because this is how I got on. There were people on YouTube that I studied on YouTube University that are my mentors today and were my mentors back then. And they still around. That means they got to be doing something right. So if anything helped you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. All right? Be blessed. And what do I always say? Get your ass up and go get it. Signing off, Silas Steppers. Have a great day. Be blessed.